right? This is a story of how I was assaulted by a police officer of Nashua, New Hampshire, at a at a um, Rite Aid, a, um, a pharmacy. I was just taking a few purchases, and I and decided that I'd be a little uh, a little talkative. I thought I, I thought I'd have a talk with the, the pharmacy tech. But see if there's anything better than valerian root out there for sleep. Um, what is that called? Uh, Nyquil or something? I think I think I think they misinterpreted me when I asked them what does benzene look like, and they didn't know. None of them knew what benzene looked like. Benzene is a simple ring of six carbon atoms that, 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 that bonded with nitrogen. The ring is deadly, carcinogenic, all that wonderful stuff. And they don't know what it is. It's just, it's, it's, they have, they're dealing with all these molecules, and they have no clue, no clue what what these molecules look like, or or, or, or could you? I mean, can these people actually explain to you why this medication and this medication aren't going to kill you when you take them together, or are they just going to look it up in a computer? Basically, they're basically these people are like are like oh, oh, oh. They're, they're they're a little different. They do, they're working in a pharmacy, on the pharmacy counter, and they have an education a little better than someone who's pushing buttons at Burger King or McDonald's. So, I, 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 I did not get angry at them. I, I, I simply, I simply was trying to get to the truth. I was trying to get to a higher truth. Uh, and they were, they, they were. They were, they were getting defensive. So they called their they called the manager over, and the manager wanted to have nothing to do with me. She didn't want to talk with me at all. She said, "Please, please leave a little car in the car." Uh, you know, apparently, apparently, there's something about pharmacies that makes them itchy when people start talking about chemicals. It, you know, aren't pharmacies called chemists in other countries? Am I wrong? Am I wrong that someone working in a pharmacy should know what benzene looks like? Uh, whatever. But they would not. But it was their it was their inability to communicate with me why they were kicking me out that made me hatch a plan. Basically, I was going to make them look the fool or whatever. Uh it's just, what, what I really wanted, what I really wanted to do is to, to, to talk to the manager. The manager, uh, I would have been, I would have been happy doing that. They called the police, so what am I supposed to do? Supposed to leave? The police got called. Yeah, you meet the men in blue, the, the, the best and brightest. Well, these were not the best and brightest. No. In fact. It really irks me that, that there are cases out there where people with high IQs are excluded from being a police officer. Uh, you may have heard these things, but you know, police officers only have high, average IQ. It's one of the most average IQs there is out there. Soldier and police officer are right in the center. They're right, right dead center. What do you do? You have nothing better to do? You're an average Joe and serve your country. Do something. Well, you know, maybe that's. I, I don't have any problem with fire. I like firefighters. I don't have any problem. I can't stand soldiers. And, uh, and I absolutely abhor police officers. So they walked in, and I was doing my Xeno Paradox thing. I was like, well, no. I can't leave because it's impossible. You know, let me explain. You know, I'm going halfway to the door, so I, when I get halfway, I have to go halfway again, and I have to do this an infinite number of times just to get to the door. So you're asking me to do an infinite number of things, and that seems impossible. Well, it is impossible. You have to do an infinite number of things. What are you talking about? You're crazy. Okay. 
So the Zenos paradox resolves when you walk out the door. When you realize that in the real world you can add up a series of infinitesimal, you start calculus. I was trying to explain the first parts of calculus to an idiot police officer who didn't want to hear anything, who didn't want to know anything, who didn't want to learn anything, who didn't want to think. And that's why we need to I may have been a little harsh on the dumb police officer, but it was quite clear that there's a striking difference in the brightness of the two. So you know, you wonder what I, don't know, you know, I, I wonder what the man's IQ really was. It doesn't really matter, but I mean, I think it, it doesn't matter when you get a high IQ. Like I unfortunately have. It's not good to have a high IQ. You get you get pigeonholed, especially if you. You get pigeonholed, you get bullshit, you get like, yeah, you can think about it. But you know what? You know what comes with thinking too much? Mental illness. By now you might have guessed that I have seen a psychiatrist or two. But really, are you quite sure that you are sane? I mean, don't you get angry too? Sure, we all try to maintain our composure. And it's only, but everyone has their price. Everyone has a cost that you have extracted from them. They would get pissed, angry. They would retaliate. I'm sorry, but the man who can turn both cheeks does not exist. Bastard. That rat bastard. I mean, so the, 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 the dumb one didn't have any control over himself. That's why he needs to be prosecuted. It's because he went out of control while he was serving his official duty, which should make this all the more greater a matter needing justice. You know what? I did my time. Yeah, I went through the hospital system for doing all that weird shit. It really wasn't that weird. I mean, I was being treated like less than a human being because they sell PXM at pharmacies. And things like NyQuil and all sorts of wonderful things to slosh you up. Any reason to throw me out without talking with me? And to insist that you will not listen to me? No. The, the woman, the woman at, at the pharmacy, at the, at, at the drugstore, should be fired. Or should be reprimanded. Or for taking a situation and making it worse. Should be retrained. No, fuck that. Should be retrained. In fact, the police officer should be retrained. He's going to be fired. What, what are we going to do wrong? He got pissed off because I have a cunning wit and a sick intellect. As I made him fear me intellectually. So he used his power over me, his authority, given to him by who? By us. He took, he took my authority and used it against me, bastard. Well, I got the better of him. Actually, no, I didn't. I got the butt. You want to hear how fucked I got? All right. Well, after... after after the assault, oh, did I tell you what the assault was? Oh, yeah. Well, never mind. I wrote about it. There. It's written. 
put his hand on my throat. It was sexual. Converted, drunk. You know what I said to him as I was being dragged off? Drug off. Yeah, dragon off store, drug off store, rape, whatever. Fuck this guy. Can't do this life. You know what I said to him? I'm gonna fuck your wife. It made the whole thing worthwhile. In fact, just me saying that makes us all right. Because I know that he is, his marriage is fucked. We get that envy going. We get that envy going. Marriage is just cool. Of course, I've been said that before. You know, someone fucked my wife who said they were going to do it. This wasn't technically my wife, but she was like, going out with her. But, yeah. Lo and behold, I'm being watched. Look, you don't know anything about me. You don't want to know anything about me. But you're going to find out later. I mean, they're already, they're already did a bunch of shit. You don't know shit. You don't know me. It's all bullshit. I cried out for 911. I said, I want higher authorities here. I want the police. Because I did not believe them to be police officers in the truth at that time. I believe they violated their charter and were no longer the authorities on the premises. So I sought higher authority. And for that, they tossed me into the hospital and blah, blah, blah. And I got stuck in a psychiatric hospital for six weeks. Which was one of the best times I've ever had. Oh, it was great. No, I'm a, real, I'm a king in the middle of the hospital. I go in there, things change. Much more depressing. Yeah. But when I'm the other way, watch out. Reality is reality is for for fools who haven't imagined who haven't managed to achieve absurdity. After all, what was the first thing you knew, and how did you prove that? What was the first thing you knew with absolute certainty, and how did you prove that? How did you obtain the first thing that you were absolutely certain of? And it's not done by logic. It can't be done by logic, because logic always starts from, even from axioms. Principle. Everything is every, everything has some sort some sort of beginning to it. Because it's some sort of previousness to it. Met God in the hospital. Nicholas was God. He was a great character. He was, you know what? I wouldn't say he was God, but he was such a great actor at this point that I just had to love him. Uh, oh, when I got into the hospital, the, uh, they, just, they just treated me like an animal. They, uh, just, they jabbed me with shit. I lost two days of memory. 
The only thing I can remember from the time of being in that hospital was waking up with a catheter in me, the black bile coming out of it, and me being in extreme pain. You know what I was diagnosed with at the hospital? Annoying. That's what the doctor said. Annoying. Not, not only did not only did I get assaulted by police officers, but I was treated like an animal at the at the, at the local hospital. I was diagnosed as annoying because I did nothing wrong. There was nothing wrong with me. I explained myself to them clearly, and they refused to listen. They insisted upon procedure, which was to medicate when a officer said so. Essentially, when an officer says, oh, he was being psychotic. Shoot him up with Thorazine. Shoot him up with Zyprexa, Metavan, Halidol. So I lost two days of memories. I woke up in, this, in the, in the, uh, I woke up from the hospital in Concord, and I was in the, the rubber room. I can't remember anything before that. I can't remember be, being in the hospital before being placed in the rubber room. So I got the bright idea of taking a shit on the floor, pissing on the shit, mixing the shit and piss together, and then writing on the wall, can you love it, Will? Can you? Can you love that will? Can you just use your willpower to, to, to bring up a memory of love so you can feel it? Love makes you happy, right? No. Not when I don't have it. It makes me happier when I have it. So maybe if I have it, I'm happy. So if you can love it, Will. Love makes you happy, then you can be happy at will. Bingo, I have cured mental illness. Or mood disorders, whatever. I have now been in a state of physical depression for a week, and I feel perfectly happy. I'm perpetually happy. It's like, the whole thing was a sham. You know, that's what I mean, grinding. But when you're in the mental health system, all they have to do is pull up where, pull up your name, and, oh, mental health patient, send him to the hospital. It's, I'm not, I'm not being treated like a human being by society. So I'm going to destroy society. 2012, baby. Uh, you know what? First time I had sex with a guy, she was a woman in red. Yeah. A beast. Kindly, Hi, girls. Seriously, serious, serious uh, inquiries only. I was an atheist. Now I'm Catholic. What do you think of that? Stupid, huh? Actually, I'm an atheist. Fuck it. I just have some spirituality issues right now. You know, the judge walked out on me. While I was giving my testimony, during the probate hearing to determine how long I'd be committed for, not only did he leave my, let my witnesses go, let the witnesses, he pushed the witnesses out of the stand while I still had questions, 
But when I took the stand to give my testimony, the judge walked out. And why? Because I got him on tape saying he doesn't know what truth is. You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. So to quote Yasser Arafat, where is it written that I must swear before my God? And then the judge said, well, you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And to quote Pontius Pilate, I said, truth, what is that? I merely wish to affirm myself before the laws of perjury. Truth, what is that? And the judge said, I don't know. So you want me to swear before something that you have no clue anything about? What good is that? Just affirm me in front of the laws of perjury. And yet he walks out. Is that a mistrial? Is that a case for mistrial? Do I get a lawyer to help me with the mistrial? No. I don't get shit. If I want if I want to have my commitment over, overturned, I have to do all the fucking work myself. You see me doing shit here? Oh, the couch is all fucked up. I got serious problems. I can't self motivate sometimes. It's difficult. And I've been this way for a while. So I don't think I'm going to change anytime soon. So the hospital was a big ordeal because I refused to take medication. That's why I was in for six weeks, not because I was a nut because they do not allow you out of psychiatric institutions without you taking psychiatric medication. It, it's, a, it's, a, it's a crock. It's a crock of shit by the pharmaceutical industry. You know, psychiatrists don't even know what psychiatry means. Ask them. They don't know what a tryst is. You know what a tryst is? an opportunity to lie between two. It's a lie. Mental illness is a lie. It's here so that people like me who have a hard time fitting in with society can, have, can just drop out for the time we need if, if it's a temporary thing. Because frankly, I'd like this to be temporary. I'd like Can You Love It Will and can you be happy at will? I'm happy all the time. I'd like that to be the answer because I'm a little tired of being, well, a guy with no job, a guy who sucks off of the government, a guy who has no has no uh, has, has has no female prospects. And like women are whores. I'm sorry, but it's just a, just like my ex-wife said. You are, I am not, look, look women, I am not the financially logical choice. Read my ex-wife's text messages. I am not your money bag. I'm not, I'm not money bag. I'm not Mr. Money bag either. I don't have money. I'm generous. I mean, I've, I've gone through quite a few whores giving them money. Without having, without receiving sex, just, just because they ask nicely. Or they had, or they tugged in my heart. Come on. I give out money for free. Don't care. If I have money, I'll give it away. Unless I want. And it's like, they're not burning me. Makes me happy. Calms me down. 
I don't have a week. That's why I'm so fucked up right now. I refuse to take the medication. It kept me in the And I basically ran the place. Did whatever the fuck I wanted. And had a jolly good old time. Not really bothering anyone, really. I wasn't getting in anyone's face. I wasn't doing anything weird. I was just doing what I wanted to do. Which just every once in a while happened to be annoying to some of the staff. I mean, have you ever heard of the Stanford Prisoner Experiment? You guys are guards, you know. Imagine that. People working in a psychiatric institution who's never heard of the Stanford Prisoner Experiment. Virtually none of them knew. In fact, I know a single one of them actually knew ahead of time what the Stanford Prisoner Experiment was. It's so much, that's worse than benzene. I mean, like, that's psychology 101. This is not hard shit. Why is the world so stupid? Zeno's paradox is not hard to understand. Someone with an average IQ, who is around 30 years old, as this guy was, should totally be able to understand Zeno's paradox. Just as someone who's working in a mental health institution should be able to understand their relationship with the prisoners. There are, they are guards, we are prisoners. They treat us like shit because they abuse their authority. And we have to just take it or things get worse. Yeah, don't stick your dick in crazy. You know, the only, the only thing I got is crazy. I mean, they're the only women I can find. Where's OK Cupid for for for, for insane shit? Actually, that is OK Cupid. Isn't it? They're all insane. Why do I want to breed? It's because I have a lovely daughter. Okay, I have a lovely daughter, and she she she's the light of my life. What can you say? You have one kid who comes out. Like a like a shining jewel, and you don't even have a couple of them. That requires a female. I have yet to master females at this age. Thirty. I don't think I. I think I think I think I gotta experiment more. Experiment more. I gotta get after the gay bar again. Yeah, it's just, I, 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 I think, I think that I, I, I'm unable to service a woman in a way that So, I might as well, might as well just enjoy my time on this planet with whoever will be sexual with me. But, damn it, you can't have kids with a guy. And, and, I'm sorry, but, The relationships I had, the relationships I had with men and men were meant nothing, just meant nearly nothing to any of the parties. Nothing compared to any of the other experiences I had with women. So somehow, even though I have this experimental nature that has set me out of course to have sex with men, I seem to be straight. So I think, like what? I, I don't know. Sexuality is spirit. I mean, that's you know, I don't. I don't believe in homosexuality. 
I don't believe in heterosexuality. Everyone's bisexual. I mean, what I mean is, is that everyone is sexual towards a person. You find someone to be sexual with, whether they be of the same gender or the other gender, doesn't necessarily mean you are always being that. Let me just put it this way. You want to mean what? You're, you're gay if you've had sex with more men than women? Or, I don't know, like the guy, some of the guys I had sex with had sex with, you know, said hundreds. They indulged in a gay guy in a cough strip and they had sex with hundreds of women. They probably meant like, Give them a doubt. Say a hundred. No, never had sex. All gay guys are are pristine and pure, and never want to have sex with women. No, everyone's bisexual. Everyone's sexual towards the individuals, the individual that they are sexual to. Classifying gender and sex so your personal preference has to form. Just like uh, do you like people with blue hair, I mean blue eyes, or, or what? You're looking, it's just a physical characteristic. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Bullshit, bullshit. Bullshit. So what do I do? Cops out to get you? Mental health industry out to screw you? Anyone who anyone who's ever had it as a companion either either doesn't like you or or uh, basically is looking for someone with a bigger bank account. So well, I suppose it, I suppose if I ever do find someone who could accept me in their supports, they must be they must be so virtuous that I'd have to stick with them forever. I do not want to be single. Done with that. Been there, done that. Rather have a relationship. I, yeah. There's nothing to say. There's absolutely nothing to say. Stop.